Good evening. Welcome to the Monday, May 8th, 2023 Board of Selectmen FAA Capital Improvement Planning Committee joint meeting. As always, we'll call this meeting to order and begin with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> Unless there's objection, I will chair the joint meeting and the FAA chair will be able to call a vote or for FAA or any act of any item separately. Um, I see there's a uh, beginning approved minutes, 424, 427, 428. Mr. Massey. Mr. Chairman, I move that we approve the minutes of April 24th, 27th, and 28th as written. Okay. Discussion, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed, unanimous. All right, public hearing. This is a continuation from April 24th, 2023. A poll hearing, National Grid, plan number 3070647. Interval circle. Interval, interval? Interval. Interval. Circle, National Grid to install new underground construction. One three-inch condo encased in concrete with new primary cable on Intervale Street Circle from existing transformer pad 3135-4 to existing primary pull box PB-1 spanning 250 feet. And open that hearing again at 6.36 p.m. You can introduce yourself and... Uh, Hi, my name is Will Fontaine. I uh, represent National Grid. And uh, since last time I did uh, get some more information, I've been in contact with the superintendent of uh, the highway department. Uh, we talked about how this project will uh, be digging up the road as there are driveways and yards uh, between the uh, pull box and the transformer we will be digging to. Uh, so we don't want to disturb anybody's private, uh, private land there. Um, so we will be digging up the road there for the 250 feet and uh, installing the new conduit. Okay. Any questions? Yeah, Mr. Chair. Mr. Sullivan. To Jeff Murray, um, have they have, they have a satisfactory remediation for when they're done? Are they going to just come in and patch it? Is it going to be? The, the, the uh, standards are laid out in the street uh, open permit. Do you remember it? Just to put in your concrete case conduit. Yes, yeah, the uh, civil contractors we use, they're always, they always have to restore to what was there before. So um, that's uh, standard uh, standard procedure for trenching in the road. And, uh, Chip, were, they, were, were they supposed to contact, I see one of the residents here, were they supposed to contact residents and show, show them exactly what was going to be done? Was that done? Um, I did. I got your information. I left a message for uh, the one uh, neighbor that I got contact information for. The other neighbor that uh, was here last time never gave me his information, so I couldn't actually reach out to him, but um, I can answer any other questions now. Um, that gentleman have his questions answered, Mr. Chair? Well, I don't think it's based on the conversation we had. I don't think there's any work that's going to take place in the private way, so I think that was the main concern of the other neighbor. I think so. Okay. I just want to say that they, they needed access, uh, access agreement with the, uh, the private property owner on that private section. And they just give them an indication that it would only happen in a public way. Right. I just want to make sure everything's whole. Yeah. Any other questions, either in the crowd or? Uh, no? Okay. I'm going to uh, close the public hearing at 638. What's the board's pleasure? Mr. Chairman? Yes. I move that we approve the request by National Grid uh, to install a new underground connection, one three-inch conduit encased in concrete, new primary cable on interval circle, an existing transformer at 3135-4 to existing primary pull box, PB1, spanning 200. Second. Any other discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Unanimous. Thank you. All right, let's see if I can square this away. We're going to uh, 
reopen the public hearing for the fiscal year 2024 warrant and uh, any remaining FAA Board of Selectmen budget warrant or capital improvement business is discussed and may be called by the chair. Town Administrator. Mr. Chairman, <clears throat> we're going to start off with a copy of the warrant. I think everybody should have a copy of it in front of them. Um, there's also an accompanying spreadsheet that I made just for everyone's convenience so that you can it has a column that says my recommendation, the Board of Selectmen's recommendation, the FAA's recommendation. It should be so you can jot it down for your own personal records. So what we normally do is we go with the, for this one with the exception of article which was voted at the last meeting that's the contingent and non-contingent budget we generally go through the usual procedure every year we go through every article and discuss it and um, at the end of the public hearing when input is done when discussion is completed we go through and have the FAA vote their recommendations and the employer selectmen vote to place those articles on the warrant so that I can go ahead and get it posted. Uh, did I open the uh, public hearing? No. Just in case, I'll reopen the public hearing uh, for fiscal year 2024 at 6.41. <clears throat> Mr. Chairman, did we want to did we want to finish up our capital improvement items? We can do it in any order that uh, everything you know is in a hearing, so we can do it in any order that you and uh, Chairman Johnson would you like. Want to finish these up. Sure. Yeah, okay. let's do. It. All right. Um, okay. Where we, where did we leave? We left off at the uh, on your ongoing regulatory and compliance mitigation response. Yep. Fine. So, actually, that's probably a good idea. We can kill three birds with one stone that way. Um, so that that particular article is Article Seven in the warrant. Um, FAA Board of Selectmen have a memo in front of them that show where we left off. And the number one, it says capital improvement completes their business. The remaining business is ongoing regulatory and compliance mitigation response for immediate response action issued by DEP and FY22. And that request is actually going to be in the amount of $200. Get that out of this. $297,690. I'm requesting that in the form of an article for the treasurer to borrow for, and we will um, budget for the repayment on the loan. And that is to cover the cost associated with the Im immediate response action that we've had issued by the DEP um, after testing the groundwater in and around the cap landfill. We're in negotiations with Gentex. We're also under the same immediate response action to pay for a portion of private well testing out into the Eagle Drive area. If you go to, if you take a look in your packets, um, I provided some background <coughs> information. It's under the it, in the OneDrive. It's under regulatory and compliance DEP under the packet folder. <clears throat> it has the town's IRA plan. It has Gen Texas IRA plan. And it has um, 
what they call an RNF, which was written to show how the town was going to respond to their immediate response action. I'm not sure, we've been talking about this for over a year now, I'm not sure how deep into the weeds I should get with it. I'm happy to start wherever the consensus is for me to start to explain the, the background as to what's going on there. While you're deciding, Amoresto, when I, when I came in as the new town administrator in 2019, we had a successful bid in a signed contract with Amoresco to place a solar array on our capped landfill. As part of that permitting process, DEP needs to sign off and permit that action to happen. When we went ahead and requested DEP's sign off for that permit, they requested our tests and inspections since the, since the landfill was capped. Well, there were no tests and inspections ever done. So we had to go back and provide tests and inspect the groundwater in and around our capped landfill. It came back with concentrations of PFAS and dioxin 1 for the groundwater tests that were performed. So that, spur that spawned an immediate response action as a release for the town of Dudley to test 500 feet out, 500 foot bubble. That put us onto Eagle Drive. We tested the first well over there. It came back with a positive hit. That required us to provide bottled water at the town's expense. And as part of the response plan, we have to continue to test out until we hit a, a, a non-detect result. So every time we hit positive, we test out another 500 feet. The response in our, our uh, action plan that was submitted to DEP is to immediately provide bottled water for a positive hit, put dioxin 1,4 or PFAS, and then within two weeks get a plant together to ins install a filtration system into that home to filter the private well. So that continued. We got closer to Gentex. Their property tested positive. They were under an IRA or immediate response action. So now we were in negotiations with Gentex and we still are, so I don't want to go too far down the road and talk about the legal negotiation, but Gentex has agreed to pick up a certain portion of the POET installation, that's the filtration system, and the ongoing remediation for all those properties, including changing filters out, repeated testing, and everything that's required. And so we have to keep going. Every time we hit positive, we have to go out another 500 feet test all the properties around 500 feet and respond in the same way. To date, this started in 21, to date I've been able to cover those expenses using federal money from the ARPA funds when we declared that revenue loss. Um, the federal government provided us with $3.6 million in ARPA funds. We've been using it for various things. This is one of them. To date we spent about $500,000 in federal funds. Recently, we had to move the ARPA funds that remained, which was $166,000 out of the projected budget for FY24 and back into the 23 budget so that we could apply them to expenses that we exceeded in 23 with things like this and some unanticipated repairs and staffing. Um, so now I'm requesting an article in which I would ask the treasurer to the board of selectmen to approve in the town of meeting, meeting to approve the treasurer to borrow that $290,000 amount and I would budget for the repayment. Part of the source of funding to budget that repayment um, can be found in the OneDrive on the cell tower and solar landfill and I think it's also printed in everyone's packets. <clears throat> it shows the Amoresco solar is the first PDF in that folder. Amoresco will be has, has actually gotten through now DEP. DEP has signed off on the initial permitting for that solar contract. And it will be in construction next August. And it shows the annual revenue that's projected from that solar contract to be about 64.5 uh, for the next 21, 20 years for a total of 1.2 million. And if you look back in that same folder, you'll see Careful 
want to hit the wrong tab and we have to start from scratch. You look at diamond leasing in that same folder. Diamond, it says diamond tower, cell tower. That's another successful bid that we received. This has all been approved for, through town meeting and RFP and gone out to bid and been received to construct a cell tower on the sewer pump station in the in town owned land where the sewer old sewer, sewer pump station used to be. <clears throat> that source of revenue provides for an initial $100,000 payment. And by the way, this is going to be in permitting in July of this year. An initial $100,000 payment. So as soon as the permits are received for that cell tower, we receive the $100,000. And then for the next 20 years, including year one, we receive an annual estimated revenue of 20000 20000 21000 22000 and so forth, all the way down to year 20, which is 35000 <coughs> That's an ongoing land lease agreement. <coughs> it also provides for any additional um, providers or carriers that are put on that tower. So, for example, this is, this is the base contract. If they come in and they lease it out to different carriers, I don't even know if Sprint exists anymore, but Sprint and Verizon, AT&T, we get 50% of that lease agreement, and Diamond gets the other 50%. So, long story short, I'm asking the bar to borrow the money, that $296,000, um, through this town meeting article, and the source of funding to repay that loan would be these revenues and or I would budget for it in subsequent years when the money, when the money is borrowed. We have that regulatory compliance line item. It's less in the, in the uh, con uh, non-contingent budget. That's if the override fails. It's, it's a lower amount, and it's, but I don't think it would be even due this year if we borrowed for it in the same fiscal year. We probably wouldn't see it. Have to make the first payment to the following fiscal year. Um, and if it, and if it, if the override were to pass, we'd have that additional budgeted amount in regulatory and compliance of sixty-five thousand. We would subsidize the rest of it with these with these new revenues to pay off the note. It's a lot in a short amount of time for me to explain, but if you have questions, we can start peeling away at the onion. This has been ongoing since 21. So, so is this the total? Is this is this all the affected houses, wells? Or this, is there going to be additional? This is what we have. This covers us for FY. This covers us, us for FY 24. We think before FY 24 is completed, we'll be done with negotiating with Gentex, and we'll have a better plan. This keeps the poet systems installed, keeps testing, retesting, <clears throat> the mitigation ongoing. It keeps us in good graces with DEP for FY24. The ultimate solution would be a water line, but we haven't done a cost benefit analysis to try to figure out what's the better investment ongoing maintenance of filtration systems or the installation of a, of a water line. I mean, a water line makes the situation disappear, right. but a water line is extremely expensive versus this. But we have to do this what, under that water. This maintenance you're talking about, what is it? Is this so you've got to change forever? Pay for, it's forever until we come up with a better idea. That's why we want to really take a look at what the what the cost of a water line would be versus forever maintenance on these systems. It's not as simple as just providing bottled water. We have to, you know, we do that initially, like immediately when there's a positive attack. We give bottled water and then we have to move forward with a filtration system or, or a water line. Those are the only two solutions, water line or filtration system. And the, and the state has no obligation to help us in this? Didn't they, they declared it a brownfield. Don't they have any obligation thereafter? Nope. We have town, with town councils been working on this for a year. So it's, I know that for a fact. And how many, how many of these wells we, yeah. these waters? 
filters we're putting in with this. This assumes 52 homes. And it's probably 70 plus total. But Gentex is picking up some of the cost of these homes. And we're going to get to a point where we're, we're both in it evenly. Yeah, you want a CIP on this first, right? I'd want to give, sure. To add this to the try. We could do CIP. We've discussed it, and we can go back to it when we look at the warrant articles through FAA and Board of Selectmen. But we've already, we have a public hearing now, so we can, I guess we could just do go ahead and ask all the it. questions. Oh, it's okay. So do all the but votes after the, after the. Uh, yeah, yeah, because we can't vote. we got to close right. the hearing. <laughs> so get, to, get through the whole hearing. If you don't want approval on CIP first, get that done. We have to move out of the hearing. We have to move out of the hearing. Okay, all right, that's fine. All the right. rest of them aren't quite as bad. So the next <laughs> one would be a little better. Oh, uh, no, I've got the column. Oh, yeah, the, the, uh, you got the memo. Is this the cruiser update? Yeah, the cruiser update yep. from right. the police chief. Uh, I'll call chief up to give us a little update on that. The cruiser. Chief, you want to give us a little update on the cruiser? Yeah. Just a quick, um, I believe in 2021, uh, we got approved to uh, purchase uh, three cruisers and a police uh, vehicle for the chief. Um, just to give you a little background, in 2021, uh, Ford Explorer was $59,539 to outfit. Since then, it's gone up to 64, 678. Um, and in 2023, they anticipate an 8 to 10 percent increase for the Port Explorers. So uh, we uh, we purchased uh, two of the cruisers. Uh, there was a, about a year wait for the cruisers when we initially purchased the first cruiser. Um, I was notified that they had a leftover, which I took advantage of and took uh, uh, reserved it for us. Uh, since COVID uh, was uh, lifted a little bit, the uh, the time to outfit a cruiser is a little quicker. Uh, so we did take a delivery of a second vehicle a little quicker than we thought we were going to anticipate on. And the third vehicle, we're going to hold off for at least a year before we uh, get a quote for that vehicle. Uh, the, the last three vehicles we've gotten are hybrids, and we've gone, um, we've spent a lot less gas on them. I anticipate uh, as long as the numbers stay low, our last vehicle will also be a hybrid. But at this point, um, I don't have a quote for the <coughs> next vehicle. It'll probably be a year from now. Oh. Questions? Any questions for the chief? Thank you very much, Chief. Thank you. All right. Um, next on the agenda is the uh, road betterment um, capital improvement projects for Tobin Farm Benefit, uh, which was approved at the town meeting at 401000 Uh You want to take that out first, Mr. Administrator? Or we need to do anything with this? Uh, Mr. Chairman, can we ask the highway superintendent to back me up on these a little bit? Okay. Um, so as we know, the road betterments are um, the processes that we we get a cost estimate to better these roads. We present it to the 50% uh, or more of the abutters if they are, are, are good with it. Um, we go ahead and we complete the road betterment. The money's borrowed and it's repaid through betterment assessments only to the people who live on that road. Um, so the road betterment, um, the road betterments that we're talking about tonight, one is Tobin Farms, town meeting approved $401,000 for that project. And St. Anthony Road is now in the queue. It's on the uh, warrant. Um, to get voted on to pursue a betterment, and the estimated cost on St. Anthony Road is seventy-three thousand two hundred twenty-four dollars. Again, these are these are actual numbers assessed to the residents of these roads in order to pay the uh, pay the projects off. Tobin Farms was already was already approved, right? We already approved that one. Tobin right. Farms was approved. Um, I don't think we had the exact final number. But this is pretty, 401 is still standing, right, Jeff? Okay. So that's the final number on Tobin 
farms, and the estimate for St. Anthony's is 73. Any questions on any of these road betterments? Anybody? CIP, FAA, Board of Selectmen? <laughs> Anybody? <laughs> well, okay, we'll move on then. Um, I think we did. We already we already approved this, right? See, I was going to ask you through you, Mr. Chair, maybe to Rich, if we should if this requires capital improvement to the feasibility study. I, that's why I put it on just to be on the I, safe side. Even if the vote is advisory, the we have the the assent. There was a. Um, <coughs> separate email chain that went through um, town council had started some of the question and bond council had been engaged and I think everything has been refined as far as what the town needs to do any suggestion for the school committee again this is moving forward in a friendly manner um, so we, okay. we'd, we'd want the vote even if it's just advisory after the fact but yes Okay. And so the source of funding, Mr. Chairman, would be a, a ballot question for one year capital outlay. Pay, pay for that 463. Same as we discussed last week. Same as we discussed last week. Bond Mr. Council, as Rich mentioned, Mr. Chairman, is uh, Thursday. 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 Like just yesterday. <laughs> so <clears throat> Bond Council came back, and I probably missed the email just before the last meeting started. We're going to tweet. I'm going to ask the board to tweet the ballot question just so it make, meets the bond council standard. It's no change in the intent of what was voted initially. Town council had reviewed the initial ballot question, then we put it through bond council and they tweaked it even further. So that'll be on later tonight. Now we have to go back and do the uh, warrant articles. If there's nothing else I can, uh, any questions I can answer for capital improvement, I'm happy to do it. Are you, are you looking for an overall vote on all of these <coughs> we do to the, the, the capital plan? And I think we want to do them one at a time, Mr. Chairman, after, yeah. the, after the hearing's closed. So you want to do, you want to do the articles first? Might as well continue with the hearing, seeing we're in it. I mean, we can take all the votes. That's you. Yeah, let's let's finish. Let's go through the warrant. Oh. All part of the <coughs> open discussion with the. All right, we'll come back. And on. then we'll go back and look at the individual. All right. Votes. <coughs> we have CIP votes. We have FAA votes. We have four okay. votes. A lot of moving parts tonight. Okay. All right, Mr. Chair. Yeah, you can do Yeah. All right. <clears throat> well, maybe I'll pick on the clerk. I'll see. So what's, what's the recommended way to do this? Just uh, read it and say hold for more discussion, or if there's no questions. Um. I'm, I'm sure there's going to be, yeah, let's, I, I mean, that's a good place to start, Mr. Chairman. You can ask for input on each one. I think we generally, we would anticipate, with the exception of uh, Article 3, which has already been voted and approved by FAA and Board of Selectmen. If you'd like to, if you'd like, I can read it and, and say what my recommendation is, and then we could call for a hold, or we could wait until someone puts a hold on it and move forward that way. Is everyone okay with that? If there's any questions on uh, want any more detail than the packets you have in front of you, uh, give me a wave or a shout, probably if I don't see, and uh, we'll stop and have the discussion. If not, I'll just uh, keep going through them and uh, I'm sure we'll find some sticking point somewhere.
Article 1, town reports to see if the town will vote to receive the reports of several town officers and all committees are taking any action that relative thereto. Any questions? Okay, Article 2, hear committee recommendations to hear and act on the recommendations of the Board of Selectmen and the Finance Appropriation Advisory Committee or take any other action relative thereto. Article 3 will be the fiscal year 2024 budget to see if the town will vote to determine the sums of money the town will raise and appropriate, borrow, or transfer from available funds. Uh, and later it uh, talks about the contingent appropriations be appropriated from the tax levy contingent upon the passage of Proposition 2 and a half ballot question pursuant General Laws, Section 59, 21C. So you've all had that in front of you, right? This will be made available to the public, correct? Yep. Yes, sir. Okay. Any questions on that? <clears throat> on a bunch of these, uh, this has the latest data plugged in. One quick question. Sure. Mr. Chairman. Did, um, Jonathan, did the Senate numbers come in at all for the, for the assessment for the school? I haven't heard, Mr. Chairman. Nothing? No. I had my, uh, my nose in the screen today. I didn't. I haven't talked, spoken with the, with the administration, but I haven't heard anything. Nothing from the governor at all? We don't know? No. Nothing. Thank you. Yes. Article 4, authorize revolving funds to see if the town will vote to establish fiscal year 2024 spending limits for the revolving <clears throat> funds set forth. Uh, so there's a list of the usual authorizations for revolving funds. Everyone has it in front of them. Article 5, fund recertification or real estate and personal property. Um, what's What's the um, source of funding on this, John? Uh, my recommendation is that we pass this over to October. We generally do that with these articles. And we use free cash. We yeah. see what we're at with free cash in October. Article 6 <coughs> uh, from the Board of Assessors funds cyclical inspections. And that is for the cyclical inspections of all properties in town that have not been inspected in the last 10 years. Mr. Chairman, Mike, that would be the same recommendation to pass over until October. <clears throat> Article 7, Regulatory and Compliance Mitigation Response. This is what you were talking about earlier, right? That's what we discussed previously, correct. Article 8, Town Accountant, Unpaid Bills of Prior Year, uh, just two. Just two, Mr. Chairman, and my recommended source of funding, seeing that we're applying free cash to both the contingent and non-contingent budgets, um, would be to either pass over until October and leave them unpaid, or if the committees feel differently and the board feels differently, to take it out of stabilization. Those are our only two options in the afternoon. Well, it shows the, the uh, four-fifths majority required for on this. That would be fine for stabilization if we had to apply that. John, how old are these bills? Yeah, like 22. Me. FY 22. No, fiscal year 22 or calendar 22. One of each. One of each. <clears throat> well, Mr. Massey? Well, we can't not pay our bills that we were... How, how long will Staples last postpone his bill? I mean, it's too upon receipt. <laughs> I, I'm not trying to remind them of it, but... I mean... <laughs> okay. Uh, Copper Care, by the way, that's... A question came up from one of the members of the board about human, uh, the human resources article, I think, has five grand in it. One, it's one of the line items in the override passes budget. Comper care is actually for employee physicals, testing, that sort of thing. So if we hire anyone, public safety or 
an admin assistant, they go for a pre-employment physical and screening. And that's what that line item, that's one, of the, that's one of the things that that line item in our budget funds, the human resources, is pre-employment physical is an ongoing. It's part of the required onboarding? Correct. Article 9, high school feasibility study. We just talked about that, right? Correct. Article 10, agricultural commission. Um, $1,500 and zero cents to be added to their account. My recommendation would be to hold until October on that one as well, Mr. Chairman. Article 11, except the portion of Partridge Hill Road. So that's another success story, Mr. Chairman. Um, Partridge Hill Road betterment has been completed. Now it's time to go through the uh, meeting for acceptance as a public. That's what we're asking here in Article 11. Article 12. Board of Slickman Highway Commissioners, Highway Superintendent, St. Anthony's Road betterment. We just talked about that as well, right? Article 13, Town Clerk Bylaw Amendment, unvaccinated dogs and cats. Any questions on that? Would you just strike it out one word? Changing the word. Changing from the word first to last. Okay. Article 14, Town Clerk, amend Chapter 255, section, section 6, Erosion and Sediment Control Waivers of the Bylaws. There's a Scrivener's Error. Date certain, certain should read a certain date, but this is Scrivener's Error. Any questions? Seeing none. Article 15, Town Administrator, Grant Board of Selectmen Authority to provide residents with option of reduced cost for energy. Mr. Chairman, we've had a lot of discussions, we've had a lot of feedback, especially when we got the announcement over the winter that National Grid was going to spike their rates up to, what did they say, 50 or 60 percent over the winter. And that caused a lot of outcry as to how come other towns can negotiate a lower pricing for their residents. So Michelle spearheaded this and she contacted uh, some surrounding towns, got the information from them and we've been in contact with the Commonwealth. This is the first in several steps to get us to be able to negotiate a lower price for the residents. Um, it starts with the town meeting approval, granting the authority of the Board of Selectmen, and then, of course, you delegate it to me and Michelle to set up the meetings that are appropriate to negotiate a lower price. Um, and before any of this is done, there's several public meetings, information, informational meetings that are held so that everybody knows how the program works and it knows the different sources of energy that are applied and it knows what the town's priorities are. It gets input from the action from the residents to say if their priority is greener energy or it's cheaper energy or a combination of both or that sort of thing. Okay. Um, and then the final step uh, when it when we get to that point is that people actually have to Opt, opt, opt in or opt out. Opt in or opt out of the program, and they can cancel at any time. So if they say this is a ripoff or they don't think it's the right way to go, it doesn't fit their needs at any time, unlike a solar contract that we sign to buy credits and everything that has a, it's a, it's a uh, in cement contract. You can't change it for a long period of time without, they can opt out of it at any time, even if they don't like it after a while. So it's a good program and it works for a lot of other towns and it's time that, you know, we, we, we use our ability to negotiate better pricing for residents in this manner. Good. You'll bring it to me, Mr. Chairman. Article 16, Planning Board, update flood plain bylaw and maps. <coughs> Mr. Chairman, Mike. These planning board articles have all received a hearing and been discussed at the planning board level, so my recommendation is to refer them back to the planning board for their recommendation at the town meeting.
and it's the same as the chairman for Article 17, which which was deliberated by the planning board, and they held a hearing. The site plan review zoning amendment. Zoning amendments require a two-third majority vote. Article 18, Mr. Chairman, is the same thing. Shared driveway standards that's been deliberated and voted on at the, at the planning board level. The battery energy storage system, Mr. Chairman, is Article 19. Again, planning board has uh, held meetings and hearings on that. I'm doing this because it's about four pages in between every single article, so yeah, yeah. just to make it. The, the scrolling is, uh, it's, it's, I'm getting there. All right, article. So time we take the papers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Any questions on that? Give you a few minutes. So Mr. Chairman, article 16 through 19, just to make it clearer for everyone, have received hearings at the planning board level and deliberated at the planning board level. So my recommendation is to refer them, ask the board of select and refer the article back to the planning board for a recommendation to town meeting voters. That's article 16 through 19. So now we're on 20? Yes, 20. Citizens petition. Joe Andrelevich, zoning change on Oxford Ave. Generally with citizen petitions, and it stands for this one, Mr. Chairman, um, I'm gonna re ask that we refer this not to the planning board, but refer it back to the citizen, to the petitioner. So we'll make that adjustment on the draft that, the, that you have in front of you tonight. I saw. Wouldn't the planning board have to hold a public hearing on that anyway? I believe they have. Yeah. And what did they say, Mr. Chairman? My recommendation is to refer it to the after the petition. Okay. Article 21, Water Sewer Commissioners authorized the Dully Sewer Assessment Management Plan project. Um, this does not, I asked town council today, this is a study of, this is a study to study a study. It doesn't require capital improvement, but I would refer it back to the commissioners to make a recommendation at time. Okay. Funding source. Exactly. Thank you. Article 22, Town Clerk, amend Chapter 255, Section 6, Erosion Sediment Control Waivers of the Bylaws. Another scrivener is there. Uh, that's a repeat. Yeah, that's a repeat. We can get that out. Yeah. Sir? See the Groundhog's Day or repeat? <laughs> so that one, Michelle was going to stay in because that received bond counts. That, that received review that Laurie just got back was from town council. So the one above it will remove. Article 23, Town Clerk amend Chapter 128, Animals 128-4. Delete the strike through and adding the bolded. That's so that's a repeat. Too. That's a repeat too. Yeah. Half as many articles now. It's good. <laughs> Article 24, Town Clerk amend Chapter 203, Lakes and Ponds. It's like we're crossing out age limits for operation of a motorboat, changing under 10 years of age to under 12 years of age. Unless accompanied by an 18 year or older. Yeah, sorry. Michelle it, tells this, me that, that makes it consistent with state law. All right, we're making it consistent with state law. <clears throat> Both sections A and B and C and D. Looks like adding E and then uh, updating the speed limits. So that just matches state law. Correct. All right. That, that's it, right? Yeah. All right. 
Anyone want to go back to any of the, those articles? Seeing none. So now we go into some changes. So I'm, so I'm closing the hearing. Closing the hearing at 7.20 p.m. Capital improvement votes to approve updated capital improvement plan and present the board of selectmen must vote on each remaining item separately. A memo is provided. So, Mr. Chairman, 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 in, the, in your packets, there's a updated memo. It's dated May 8th. It's for the, from the capital improvement committee to the board of selectmen. It's in there, right? It's in there. Sorry, what folder was it? That's just the memo, right? It's just the memo. The one we've been using as uh... No, there's another one. There. Oh, there's another memo. Would have been updated to me. Just the old one. Yep. Michelle's going to get you a clean copy, but... That's, one, that's one I have in front of me. That's same one. Yep. Same one. All right. Okay. Dated May 4th and May 8th. May 8th. Oh, okay. okay, perfect. So, John, we've got a bunch of these that we've already approved on the first meeting. Right. So, so should I just, we only got four or five of these to go through uh, for capital improvement to approve. You want us to approve the We'll approve these the ones items. That we did tonight. The ones we did tonight, and then we'll let FAA. We've had separate votes, Mr. Chairman, for each one, right? Because yes, we're required to have separate votes for both CIs. Yeah, capital improvement. Yeah, okay. And so why don't I? Why don't we? Um, Second too. Rich has something, Mr. Chairman. These votes are really important the way they're structured. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman. Let's wait till Michelle comes back. All of the compliance is how did we get there? Capital improvement goes through, reviewed an article, a member made the first and the second, and it was voted in the affirmative. Added to the added to the 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 plan in its entirety at the end, and then accepted by the Board of Selectmen. There's going to be some other contingency votes as are necessary, depending on what the expenditure is. But it's <coughs> it would be rather. So you want to go finish what we didn't? Is that what you said? Yeah. Absolutely. Each individual one. We we're didn't waiting for the show. Did they close that already? You didn't close that meeting. We didn't close. We just. Okay. We, we, so, um, yeah, Mr. Chairman, I think you've already voted at the last meeting. So where we picked up is where we left off tonight. Right, so we want to make sure those those remaining votes are individually voted. Right. And then that memo can be presented to the board of selectmen. While we're waiting for Michelle, I I'll go through real quickly the ones we did vote on um, for the selectmen's purposes and for FAA's purposes, and then when she gets back, we'll continue on what we did. Um, so at the last meeting, um, one of the capital projects was the. Uh, Carp Carpenter Pond Dam Engineering Design, uh, which is 90% complete. EEA approved the uh, design. Uh, Par A Engineering submitted an application in the amount of $400,000 uh, for the dam removal and demolition. It's going to occur in 2024. We voted in the affirmative for this to be on the capital plan. $400,000 was grant. Was a grant fund correct? Yes. Mr. Chairman? Yeah. Okay. Uh, the rail trail, uh, some paving of the rail trails. Um, there's about a, there's five hundred thousand dollars in a in a pending grant for the rail trails. We approved that one. 
EV charging stations. We we scratched that one. We didn't. Did we vote on that one? We scratched it, Mr. Chair. All right. So nothing on EV. The Brandon Road Mill Race Bridge Project. Um, that was the demolition of the bridge. Okay. Uh, demolition of the bridge, and it was uh, funded by Chapter 90, 148,500 dollars. Um, the master plan uh, for a hundred thousand dollars pending successful grant on that one. So you applying for a grant for that? <laughs> uh, feasibility study behind the courthouse on Route 197, which is funded by Mass Development. Um, that was fifty thousand dollars, and that's also grant funded. Um, airport Road, which is funded by the shared streets and spaces uh, for $176,894.15. And we have the, did we scratch this first half? John? Uh, no. no. We, didn't, uh, we, bit, uh, we, we voted on that one, right? Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Voted on that one. All right, yeah, the first half improvement project, which is paved and funded by HUD through the Mass Department of Housing and Community Development. Uh, through a fiscal year 2021 community development block grant for 558,500 um, uh, for the entire project. The bid uh, is opening, bid opened on 5-3. Was that correct, 5-3? Yeah, that's when we opened 5-3, correct. Okay. All right, I think that's just in time for Michelle. <coughs> And then, Mr. Chairman, after we vote on this, like the highway superintendent wants to add, wants to just give you some information for the next capital improvement meeting, which will be in, in advance of the, to be in September or that, that time yep. frame, in advance of the. All right, so we'll add, we'll add him after we get to the, uh, the last. Okay, so we already talked about the uh, regulatory compliance and mitigation for uh, that, which is going to be Article 7 on the warrant for $297,690. Uh, does anybody on capital improvement want to make a motion on the mitigation? There's a suggested motion there, too, Mr. Chairman. Yeah. I don't have a suggested motion. Today. Which memo? The, yeah, the one you just gave me? That's the one. Okay. Do they have that? Sure. Oh, they don't have it. No, I, I only need a couple copies. Okay. Okay. I have money for that. Right. Yeah. Then, uh, which folder is in the... Okay. Which is everybody else I have to have that? Yeah. You have a copy of that for motion? So we're looking for a motion for which one, Mr. Chairman? For the mitigation. Okay. For the uh, mitigation and compliance. Second page, number one. That's it. 52 water filters so far. <laughs> I think that's what it was. So what are we looking at? We need a motion for... We need for a motion for mitigation. For article <coughs> To add the mitigation um, for the uh, all Eagle Drive, is that how you want to... Yeah, the Eagle Drive part. For, the, for, all, the, for all the homes that are going to get the water filters, we need a motion from Capital Improvement to add that to the Capital Improvement Plan. And then a motion that 2024 Capital Improvement approval for mitigation. Can you actually... Uh, he should, should have something written. Right. The yeah, suggested I motion is I move that the ongoing regulatory and compliance mitigation and response for immediate response action be added to the capital improvement plan for fiscal year 2024 in the amount of $297,690.00 with the source of funding identified as borrowing and budget appropriation to pay the note. What he said. So, so moved. moved. <laughs> okay. All right. Is there a second on that? I'll do it. Second. We have a second. Any discussion? 
Chair. All right, what's going on with the mitigation? Anybody? Any? So, Mitch, you have a, you have a motion. You have a second. How is the time for debate? Yep. The town administrator had gone through and explained all of this, but again, if you call to the. Oh, if anybody has a question. Discussion. If, there, if there's a layer of detail, there's. Anybody has any discussion on that? Seeing none, we'll take a vote. Capital improvement. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed? All right. Uh, yeah, you can move the capital. You want to do, uh, we're not doing anything with the cruiser, right? So you're doing road better. We're doing the cruiser or no? It's a moot point, Mr. Moot Chairman. Point, yeah. Okay. So now it's the uh, road, road betterment. Road better Tobin Farms. So you want to read down? I move that the Tobin Farms betterment be added to the capital improvement plan for fiscal year 2024 in the amount of $558,500 with the source of funding identified as borrowing with the town be reimbursed for associated costs and debt through assessed betterments to the residents of Tobin Farms. Is that correct? Is that the correct number? Or all $401,000. It says town meeting approved a $401,000. But the memo says $558,500. Yep, do you know? I have to type you in. $401,000. All right. Uh, so just amend that yeah, motion. Just amend it. Oh, I didn't make a motion. I just I read it. Hate it. <laughs> so I'll read it again. I move that the Tobin Farms Betterment be added to the capital improvement plan for fiscal year 2024 in the amount of $401,000 with a source of funding identified as borrowing with the town to be reimbursed for associated costs and debt through assessed betterments to the residents of Tobin Farms. Do we have, do we have a second? Second. Second. Oh, oh, oh. Any discussion uh, on I, this? Actually, I, I just read it, so you want to say, have someone say well, so moved? I, I'll no, make you, motion. You said I move okay. at the beginning. So. I did? Okay. Yeah, you did. So oh, we do have a motion. Paul second. Okay. Paul no. moved. Okay, okay there we go. Okay. Got that, Michelle? I'm just going to so read them. Paul. Paul. Second um, by. Okay. Too many moving parts here tonight. <laughs> Is there any discussion on this? A question on this what happens and I'm sure all the residents are for it or willing to participate in it but what happens if you get all of a sudden a group that do not participate and the expenditures have already been taken the reimbursement doesn't come the town's way if I'm getting that right what happens then who how do you get the money Rich. so how we got here 50 percent of the residents moved forward it was placed on the town meeting warrant, it was voted in the affirmative. So now things are moving forward. The road will be improved, the loan, the loan will be made, the assessor will go through and divvy up what should be paid. Um, however, is it by linear feet or whatever the agreement is per, per resident or, anyway, the assessor will go through give the option for a cash payment ahead of time or to take the betterment over the period specified. Failure to pay is a, a tax lien. So in the worst case scenario where no one paid, the town would have tax liens totaling X amount of dollars. But I think the town is at this point because a majority of people raised their hand and said, Let's not drive over a, a poor road. Let's have it improved and ultimately get get it accepted by the town. Don't we put a municipal lien on the property? Municipal lien is the second the assessors commit the tax bill to the collector to be collected. The perfection of the lien is my attestation being recorded at the Worcester Registry of Deeds that the taxes remain unpaid for the period specified. So George, Rich is going to send them a bill. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Chairman, just now's a good opportunity to clarify that because some, some people seem surprised by it. We, this requires the residents to 
on their own to go out and recruit other residents, 50% or more, on the street, and say, yeah, we'd like to pursue this betterment. We then have a series of meetings internally, but usually Jeff is here, I'm here, the town plan is here. We have them come in and, we, and they ask all the questions that they have. We answer as many questions as we can, and Rich has joined us for a few as well. With that, and we generally leave the meeting by saying, do you still want to go forward? Because we don't just put it onto the uh, meeting warrant. If you change your mind, come back. If you have questions, ask us. But it starts off with a petition of the majority of people on the street saying, yes, we want to move forward with it. Then it gets onto the town meeting warrant. Then the town meeting votes for it. So at any point, somebody has buyer's remorse or whatever the case may be, they can show up and vote against it. In this case, they didn't. It passed the town meeting. Now we move forward with the process. So it's not, it's not, a, it's not a surprise to anybody on that street. I can't see it too well. All right. Is there any other questions regarding this? All right. We'll call a vote. All in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed. All right. We'll go on to St. Anthony Road. I move that the St. Anthony Road betterment be added to the capital improvement plan for fiscal year 2024. It is your amount. It's in the amount two. of $73,224, with the source of funding identified as borrowing with the town to be reimbursed for associated costs and debt through assessed betterments to residents of St. Anthony Road. Uh, I, make a uh, I make a motion that the St. Anthony Road betterment be added to the capital improvement plan for fiscal year 2024 in the amount of $73,224 with the source of funding identified as borrowing with the town to be reimbursed for associated costs and debt through assessed betterments to residents of St. Anthony Road. You have a second. Have a second. Yeah. Any discussion on that? Richard? Through you, Mr. Chairman. To the town administrator and the highway superintendent, this is the third uh, road betterment, again, following the very positive intake, more than 50% of the residents who had gone forward. It doesn't have town meeting approval, but it's being put forward almost at the, the request or the, the tacit assent by the road, more than 50%. Correct. We had, we had the same style meeting. Residents came in. Again, this whole process is not driven by the town or any official. It's driven by the residents. They come to us with a petition, and that starts the process. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions? Then I'll call a vote. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? All right. So next sounds like you want us to, uh, the Board of Selectmen, to vote to accept the updated capital improvement plan. I do. Um, study for first. you, Mr. Chairman, um, and the Treasurer, do we want the Board of Selectmen to, to vote individually on these, or do we want to have them just vote? You, you'd like to, um, my, my question was on D. Yeah, you want to we're gonna add the uh, feasibility study to the Oh, to make sure we do that. There's still capital improvement. Yeah. Right. So we have the uh, the high school feasibility study that we've talked at length about uh, for four hundred sixty-three thousand um, dollars. Source of funding is going to be a uh, capital exclusion question on the ballot. Um, does anybody on capital improvement want to make a motion to add that uh, study to the capital plan for the town? I'll make motion. The high school uh, feasibility study totaling $463,000 be added into the capital improvement plan. Uh, source of funding will be borrowing contingent upon successful capital exclusion question. Perfect. All right. Do we have a second for that? Uh, Mr. 
Okay, we have a second. Does anybody want to discuss the study any further? John, any? Look like you want to say something. No. <coughs> the exclusion, I mean, is it one year, two years? Which? Mr. Chairman, the motion that's on the floor is for a capital exclusion. One year only. So in fiscal 2024, $463,000 becomes a line item for payment to, very specifically, Dudley Charlton. The following year, it disappears. The savings is zero issuance cost. It is a, it is a budgeted line item. All you need to do is write the warrant and the funds go out. This is how you explained uh, the town hall comes off after 20 years. One more year was the 460, okay. And we're working with the chairman on getting those what happens if and then and together. Question? How is Charlton's uh, contribution decided in this? Is it per student? Is it town population? What's their contribution? Mr. Chairman, I, I believe for certain items it's an October 1st date as far as pupils per town and it's divided up. Quick answer. I won't give it up. For all the calculations, it looked like it was like 54% versus 46%. Correct. Dudley. Plus or minus a few. We didn't get a graph on that one. <coughs> it's a dick. Mm. I wouldn't say nothing. All right. Um, is there any other discussion on this study? I just want to make mention that. Um, with this, with this study, we also, it's grant funded, half of it's grant funded, about 50 to 60% of it. So we'd be looking at, you know, come, coming back to the schools to offset future assessments, about half of that's coming back. So uh, not, a bad, not a bad deal if we get in it right now. So, um, but any other questions on that one? All right, see you now, we'll take a vote. All in favor, say aye. 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 Uh, all opposed? Aye. Okay, we got one name. Passes. Okay. Um, well, that's it for our capital plan. Where you said you got the uh, highway department wants to add something, or I think that uh, the highway superintendent wants to add a couple of projects to your radar screen, so you'll have a chance that you can start. We don't need voting on this one. Just, just voting just to on know what's one. coming up. Okay, yeah, I, Mr. Chairman, we had a discussion. You wanted to remind me about 30 days in advance. Yeah. Question, so okay. I want to put this on the radar screen so when we start submitting <coughs> costing for it, we'll be able to go on it, uh, to move on it in advance, well in advance of the October town meeting. <coughs> okay. Did you want to come up, Jeff? You can, yeah, uh, you can come up to us. Uh, so, um, yeah, there's just a couple of items that I wanted to add, and uh, they'd be a uh, chapter 90 funded projects. Uh, Two years ago, um, we actually uh, submitted a uh, for review um, a uh, clamshell basin cleaner, and the cost has increased, so it would basically be an update uh, to the cost of that, um, and we'd be looking at at that. Also, a uh, mini excavator, which would act as an offset for the uh, local match portion of uh, one of the grant programs that we've. Uh, made application for for the uh, um, improvements to the rail trails. Yep. Um, so a lot of these uh, grant programs require local match. Some of you know usually in kind or some of them. Some of them actually will allow equipment purchase. So we're we're actually gaining the gaining the capital uh, through the chapter 90 purchase, but we're also offsetting what we would would otherwise be out of pocket costs or in in kind costs. And then the uh, the third item would be another uh, plow truck, uh, just in anticipation of a uh, two to two and a half year wait period for um, actually being able to purchase the uh, <coughs> cabin chassis and then uh, have the upfit done. So um, I would just need the approval to uh, get that in motion and be able to get the truck on order so that we could have it. It wouldn't hit in the 
uh, FY24 period, uh, more than likely uh, FY25 or uh, possibly beyond at this point. That's uh, <coughs> tough to determine, but I have to I have to put it in in the site so that we know that we'll have that available. We're um, trying to maintain a uh, routine five-year plan to uh, update equipment. So, so the plow truck, you chapter 90 on that? Correct. Chapter, okay. And that's what Delta. So it would be one of the larger dump trucks similar to the two that we've had on order for two years. Right. Uh, and we're currently awaiting uh, for uh, the delivery. So one of, them, one of them will be ready in probably a week or two, and then uh, the second uh, probably towards the end of July, possibly August. Anybody, any, any questions for highway? Kevin? All right, thank you. Okay, thanks. All right. Where do you want to go from here, Mr. Administrator? Yeah. Can we go into number two on the now? For the Slockman vote yes, to please. accept the right. and Just to clarify, borrow for. Richard's borrowing purposes, you, Rich, you want an individual vote to each one, or do you want to accept the plan as updated? How the Mr. Chairman, how are the motions written? No one, no one will question anything if there is a, a motion read, a second, and an approval adding, it's added to. It's when it appears on the project, uh, it, it appears on the plan, and there isn't that very clear line of it was presented but not specifically voted on, or maybe voted on it en masse. So, so through the chair, Rich, you're just looking for them, for the Board of Selectmen to vote, to a motion to vote to accept the updated plan as presented in the memo tonight? Maybe just for clarification's sake, we'd, we'd take a motion from a member of the Capital Improvement Planning Committee just updating the plan with the following items. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't do that. We did the individual items first. So you probably want to do that one. Yeah, but that was with their report. We're just going to accept their report now, right? Yeah, because we voted on each one individually. Yeah, we, can... we should just accept their report as voted on tonight. Is your motion? I mean, everything's pretty clear right now, <clears> right? Yeah, it's just not money, you know. Just accept yeah, it. Yeah, because I've always done it. Make a motion accept the to accept update. plan as presented yeah. voted on by capital. Make a motion. That's a motion. Right. Second. Did you get it, Michelle? Any discussion? Board <laughs> Selectman. Thank you. Hearing none. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Unanimous. That oh, looks like. Uh, we got here. Okay. All right. All right. We're we're, we're getting we're getting around second base. <laughs> Do you? You want to go around FAA first to do all the articles, or you want to do this? We'll do FAA and Board of Selectmen at the same time. I, I mean, not at the same vote, but well, the FAA makes a, his votes on a recommendation, and the Selectmen vote to approve the article. So you want to do all our recommendations first? Yeah, that'd be good, Mr. Okay. Chairman. Okay. So, Article One. See if the town will vote to receive the reports of the several town officers and all the committees will take any action there too. Relative there too is do we have a motion from a member of the FAA on this article? I move that the FAA vote in favoring of recommending Article 1 as printed in the May 2023 draft town meeting warrant for the May 22, 2023 annual town meeting and further authorize the town administrator on the advice of town council or bond council to modify the number of the article or make any legal corrections to the article text so long as it does not change or modify the intent of the article is printed and recommended here tonight. Is there a second on that motion? A second. We have a second. Is there any discussion for article one? None. Seeing none, we'll call a vote. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? All right. FAA recommends Article 1. Article 2. Um, 
Here are the committee recommendations to hear and act on the recommendations of the Board of Selectmen and the Finance Appropriation Advisory Committee or take any action relative thereto. Is there any motion on Article 2? So moved. We don't need to read this up. We have a second. Is there any discussion on Article 2? All right, seeing none, all, vote. all in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? All right, FAA recommends Article 2. Uh, Article 3 was already recommended by FAA? Yes. Article 3 has already been recommended by, by FAA in the previous meeting. So we'll bypass that. Article 4. Yeah, I got one here. Yeah. Article 4, authorize revolving funds to see if the town will vote to establish fiscal year 2024 spending limits for the revolving funds set forth in Chapter 34, Section 34-5, authorizing revolving funds of the town's general bylaws as follows, but take any action relative thereto. Um, and dispense with reading the spending limits from all these accounts. Um, is there a motion for Article 4? I move the FA vote in favoring of Article 4 as printed in the May 8th, 2023 draft town meeting warrant. Right. Is there a second? second? We have a second. Is there any discussion on Article 4? All right. So we're going to call a vote. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? All right, FAA recommends Article 4. Article 5 is from the Board of Assessors, fund recertification for real estate and personal property to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate, borrow, or transfer from available funds a sum of $15,000 to fund the cost of the recertification of real estate and personal property values for fiscal year 2020, 2028, as required by the Commonwealth Department of Revenue. Um, does anybody in the FAA want to make a motion? Make a motion to pass over to October. Is that correct, Mr. Yes, please. To October. Okay. So we have a motion to pass over to October. Is there any, is there a second on that? We have a second. Any more? Any discussion on passing this over? Okay. Seeing none, we'll call a vote. All in favor, say aye. Aye. All opposed. Seeing none. Article five is recommended for pass over by the FAA. <coughs> Article six is fund the cyclical inspections to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate, borrow, or transfer from available funds the sum of twenty-one thousand dollars to fund the cost of the cyclical inspections of, of all properties in the town that have not been inspected in the past 10 years for fiscal year 2024 as required by the Commonwealth Department of Revenue. I have a motion on this one. Pass over to October. All right, do we have a second? Second. Okay, we have a second. Any discussions on this one? All right, seeing none, we'll call a vote. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed? All right, FAA recommends that we pass over Article 6. Six. <clears throat> All right, Article 7 is the regulatory compliance mitigation and response to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate, borrow, or transfer from available funds. <clears throat> The sum of two hundred and ninety seven thousand six hundred and ninety dollars and zero cents or some such amount to provide funding to design, test, install and maintain water filtration systems for affected residents as required under the immediate response and action issued to the town of Delhi by the Department of Environmental Protection. And to meet such appropriation, the treasurer, with the approval of the selectmen, is authorized to borrow such sum under the, under the 
consistent with Mass General Law Chapter 44, Subsection 7 or 8, or any other source or authority to issue bonds or notes that may be necessary to that purpose to take any action relative thereto. So we have a motion on Article 7. Move the FAA vote in favor of recommending Article 7 as written in the May 8, 2023 Draft Town Meeting Warrant. Second. Okay, we have a second. Is there any discussion on this? Any discussion? John, just real quick again, can you um, give us a kind of an idea how we're paying for this? Again, just a brief, what do you got lined up? going to borrow the money because we can't come up with 300 grand right but year. you so said next year you got something else coming in possible spread it out we're, we're going to budget to it we're going to budget through well we did the right thing a few years ago because half of our ground our land lease stuff whether it's for a cell tower or a solar array goes right into capital improvement stabilization so right we can use that as a source of funding and we can budget to it through a regular line item for the regulatory compliance line item in the same with the Amoresco payment that the town would be receiving. We get a hundred thousand dollar payment when permitting is completed. When is that? Cell tower, and that's going to happen in July. That's a signed, sealed, delivered contract. So we get at least some of it, third of it anyway, right? Correct. Um, and you said, but you want to budget? You're not going to. This isn't in your budget, though. Any of this? Well, because I don't think we'll be paying for it till 24. I mean, 25. But there is a regulatory compliance line item in right. the budget if, already. If, which is if, the override pa if an override passes, right? In a little bit if it doesn't. So we have some money to pay for it. But we're talking about 24. If, if it's borrowed, I don't see us making a payment till 25. Okay. I was just hope more people smoke some marijuana. Get some of that money coming. You didn't even <laughs> mention that. <laughs> Maybe you should before we read about it. What? False numbers. False numbers of <clears throat> weed money. No, I don't have time for nine cents. <clears throat> All right. Oh, it's coming to the meeting. Get the question. Discussion. This, uh, move any uh, any discussion at all on that? Okay. Uh, let's uh, call vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, all opposed? Seeing none. FAA recommends Article Seven. Article 8 is these unpaid bills of a prior year to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate, borrow, or transfer from available funds. Sum of $6,981.90 to pay the unpaid bills of a prior fiscal year or take any action relative thereto. So anybody have a motion on this one? Make a motion to pass over to October. Do we have a second? Second. Okay, we got a second. Any discussion on this? Okay. Mr. Administrator, can we move the, I mean, moving this to the fall? The cash? I mean, I, and I just Certainly don't want you can. to get collection letters. I, mean. <clears throat> I think that, that we've done enough business with Comper Care. I mean, I'm not, I can't speak for them. What about Staples? They're, they're accredited, so. Right. But Staples? The same. I, I I don't have a recommendation as far as moving it or paying out of capital. Okay. All right. Uh, all right. Any any other questions or any comments on this? All right. Let's take a vote. All in favor, say aye. Aye. All opposed. Okay. Seeing none. Article six recommend to fall pass over to the fall. Huh? Eight. Oh, Article 8. I'm sorry, my class is a term. Uh, the feasibility, uh, Article 9 feasibility study uh, high school to see if the town will vote to raise an appropriate transfer from available funds in the sum of $463,000 or such, or some such amount for the cost associated with the town's 
allocable share of the cost of a feasibility study as required under the Mass School Building Authority School Building Grant Program and as recommended by the Dudley Chowton Regional School Committee and to meet said appropriation such amount shall be raised in the tax levy subject to the favorable vote by the town of a proposition two and a half capital outlay exclusion ballot question in accordance with the mass general law chapter 59 section 21 or take any other action relative thereto a motion for this motion to vote in favor of article 9 as written Okay. Hey, we have a second. Second. All right. Second. Time for discussion. Discussion. I'm told that if the school committee votes to include this in the assessment tomorrow night, that this article can come off the warrant, and we just send it right to the ballot. Board. Yeah, because it's in their assessment, so Correct. it doesn't need to be warrant. It's just, and that was bond council and town council saying the same thing. Do we need? Do we need to make it a conditional motion on this then? No, because at the end I'm going to ask you to authorize me to make any changes to numbering or legal, okay. legal modifications fine. without changing the intent of the vote. But everybody understand that how that works? If it's a capital assessment from the schools, it, come, it doesn't need to go, it just goes up on the ballot? For us. Did that exclude it? Okay. All right. Any other, any questions on this? Any comments on it? <clears throat> Anybody? I'm just going to reiterate what I said the other night. Um, 309, 300, was it 89,000 coming off this, this building which, that we've been paying for for 20 years? That's coming off. We're not going to have to make that payment next year. Uh, so it's a very small increment to keep it, to, to get this. Um, and it wouldn't really change anybody's taxes whatsoever to take care of this. So. I'm in favor of it. Um, so I guess we'll call a vote. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? And opposed in Article 9 is recommended by the FAA. <coughs> Article 10 is the Agricultural Commission to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate borrow transfer from available funds. The sum of $1,500 to be added to their account for fundraising activities and events to take any action relative there to. We have a motion on this. I make a motion to pass it over to all the public. Okay. We have a second. Second. Okay. Is there any discussion on this? I okay. see a non call vote. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? All right. Article 10 is recommended by the FAA. Article 11. John, you need a, you need a recommendation? You know, I, I, I struggle with these, Mr. Chairman, because technically, if you add something to, if you're accepting a road, you're increasing the budget, right? You're increasing your maintenance budget, your snow removal budget, everything else. Rich, you want to the board, that's fine. Rich, do you have any comment on this one? As far as FAA's recommendation here? I thought it, it would be similar to a planning board article. It's, it's finance appropriation. This is the acceptance of the road. The board of selectmen who sit as highway commissioners would would be the authority. That's, that's sort of how I see it. If, again, if you made an advisory vote in the affirmative, it, it doesn't hurt. All right. <coughs> doesn't hurt. Mr. Chairman, um, Jeff can back me up on this, but we already plow and maintain that road anyway. We're yep. just going to be plowing and maintaining the portion that they just paid to get done. Well, they're paying. And <coughs> I would have, I can understand what Mr. Root is saying about increasing potential cost down the road, but I would, I would not support not accepting this road. We kind of laid it out there for the residents. If we do, if they do A, B, and C, we will support D. doesn't mean town meeting can't vote but, it down, but, but, but. We, we, we really have, we have no, 
no money attachment yet. Uh, that's right. So, I mean, just wondering what it. Right. He already, Jeff already plows and maintains it anyways. Right. So he's going to be plowing a better road. Right. So it's, we really don't need a recommendation from FAA for you guys. For we can kick it right over to uh, what it's like with no problem. Right. Does anybody have any objections doing that on FAA? Okay. All right. Well, let's go to Article 12. Um, Board of Selectmen, Highway Commissioners, Highway Superintendent, St. Anthony Road, St. Anthony's Road Betterment to see if the town will vote to authorize the treasurer with approval from the Board of Selectmen to borrow $73,224 or some such sum to be expended under the control of the Highway Department for improvements to the private way access to St. Anthony Road, including incidental and related costs for said improvements and to meet said appropriation, the treasurer, with the approval of the selectmen, is authorized to borrow such sum under the under and consistent with Mass General Law, Chapter 44, Subsection 7, or any other source of, of authority, and to issue bonds and notes of the town, therefore, and further, the Board of Selectmen, acting pursuant to the authority granted under General Law, Chapter 80, and the town's road betterment bylaw, shall assess betterments on all properties benefiting from the purpose of recovering the cost thereof. Would you take any other action relative there too? Anybody want to make a motion on this? I'm going to vote in favor of Article 12 as written. Second? Second. Okay, we have a second. Any discussion on this one? All right, seeing them, call vote. All in favor say aye. Okay. All opposed? Article 12 is recommended by the FAA. All right. Can we kick number 15, Mr. Chairman, over to the board? Or? Yeah, there's no, no financial recommendation in this whatsoever. So is anybody on FAA opposed to being the selectman? No recommendation on this? No? No. All right. We'll bypass that. Is there any other articles in here? I think that's it, right, John? Did we vote in Article 21 before? <clears throat> My recommendation through the chair for Article 21 was to refer back to the Water Sewer Commission just because I don't have any information on it. Need to make a recommendation to town meeting. Is Max still here? Is he? No. No. Nobody from his department here. Huh? Mr. Chairman. You have the information on this? I, I don't. It looks very much that it parallels a $200,000 issuance from the Water Department where it's an asset management that just complemented all of the work that they had done. So I'm going to make heads or tails of this. And I think the idea is that you've improved the infrastructure, yeah. made repairs with state money. The, the, the icing on the cake would be, let's make sure that you know what you have, how you use it, what the schedules were. That's, that's how it reads to me. But I don't have anything. It's the same structure where there was an in-kind payment, you had borrowed some money, uh, reimbursement. Well, there's an in-kind, what is this in-kind service for 37000 What's the project we comprise? Is that the water sewer? They're doing work or something? Mr. Chairman, I believe it's, it's in-kind. So between labor and machinery, 37000 would be the town's portion or the enterprise sewer's portion. I don't even know. I have no idea what this is. So 
it's a it's a study for it's a borrowing article this should be on the capital right. improvement I asked about that through the chair uh, if it should be on capital improvement and they didn't think so the town council <laughs> didn't think, think so Town Town Council didn't think so, neither did the commissioners, but I don't have any additional information on it, so I I can't make a recommendation on it except to refer it back to the commissioners. I, um, it is it is a spending it is a spending article, so um, what's anybody's pleasure on this? A recommendation for Article 21 to refer it back to the Water and Sewer Commissioners. Second for that. Awesome. All right, we have a second. Any discussion on it? John, what happens if it, if if we would have? Of course, we're going to vote on the motion. But if we would have passed this over for further information, what happened then? I mean, I. That would <laughs> not a block. They can force a vote. If, if, you, if the FAA recommendation is passed over for further information, you're going to get the get guarantee of the Water Sewer Commissioners will stand up and make their case. So we might as well just refer back to them. To begin. Yeah. Yeah. Refer to Water Sewer. And I wish they would get tonight. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> It seems like we get a lot of these at the last the last yeah. second walk right in. No communication. Spend, 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 spend. I don't know. All right, we have a we have a, a second. Is there any other discussion on the motion? All right. All in favor, say aye. 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 Uh, all opposed? All right. So we'll defer this back to the Water and Sewer Commissioners. Yeah. For, uh, FAA? All right. The only thing I would ask the FAA, Mr. Chairman, is if you would if you would just take a vote authorizing me to make any sort of changes through the advice of town council to either well to, to the verbiage or the article numbers on the warrant without changing the intent of the vote. Mm -hmm. Going to make a new motion to authorize the town administrator and the advice of town council or bond council. All right, John, you have these motions. What's that? Have these that them? I think I you have. have that. So you got a piecemeal at the yeah because you did each one individually. Now we have to. The, the motion would read: I motion to further authorize the town administrator and so the advice of town council or bond the council number to modify the here. number of the article. Or make okay. any legal corrections to the article yep. text okay. so long as it does not change or modify the intent of the article as printed and recommended here tonight. Okay. I make a motion that the FAA uh, further authorize the town administrator on the advice of town council or bound co bond council to modify the number of the article or make any legal corrections to the article's text so long as it does not change or modify the intent of the article as printed and recommended here tonight. Okay, we got a second. Any discussion on that? All in favor say aye. 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 That saves us another minute. <coughs> All right. So you have permission to do what you want, Mr. Mm -hmm. All right. Mr. Chairman, you're All you're right. Next. So it sounds like uh, Board of Selectmen needs to vote approve. Uh, does that article is now incorrect? We're going to add um, the article that was sent to the board of said. So how about this? One yes, two yes, three yes, four yes, five yes, six yes, seven yes, eight yes. Oh, no, it's all of them. Because you want to authorize these to be put on place on the town meeting warrant, so you want to vote on that. Okay. All articles. All articles. 
to be placed on the town board. Even and the new you duplicates. can go back and you can vote on your recommendations because you'll be moving, mm -hmm. Mr. Chairman, some of the articles for the recommendation where it doesn't apply to the other. Mm -hmm. Putting the dupes, Mr. Chairman. Yeah, uh, duplicates, too. Didn't know because you just thought we're going to. We're going to do that after. Okay. Same like that. Okay. <coughs> do I need a vote to? An authorizing vote to place all these on the town meeting warrant for the board of selection. And then please go back and then vote on your recommendations to the town meeting. <coughs> Anyone got that motion uh, squared away? I move that the board, of, Mr. Chairman. I move that the board of selectmen move, vote in favoring, in favor of approving articles one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty-one, eighteen, seventeen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, as printed in the May 8, 2023, draft town meeting warrant for placement on the May 22, 2023, annual town meeting warrant, and further authorize the town administrator on the advice of town council or bound to council to modify the number of the article make any legal corrections to the article text, including removing any article that's not required on the advice of counsel, so long as it does not change or modify the intent of the article as printed and recommended here tonight. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Unanimous. <coughs> Job at A. Okay, now you'd like us to uh, we had a question on the vote taken on ballot, question one from the May 4th, 2023 meeting. Sounds like we had a Scribner's error. Um, before we do that, Mr. Chairman, if you could go back and just vote on your recommendations. Or, or we could do it before town meeting if you want. Let's do it before town meeting. Sure. It's a good what do you mean recommendations? The ones that got bounced. The ones to the that you're going to have to make a motion to. to we can do. We can do it then. We can do it then. It's okay. Just everyone. recommendations have nothing to do with. How many of that there? Okay. Oh, should we just do it now? Right. Sure. Who's got the list? <clears throat> I've got a list. Can you list them off for us, please. So the first one is town reports. That's the FAA's recommendation. Next one is here committee recommendation. FAA's recommendation. Twenty-four budgets all set. Revolving funds is all set by FAA. Fund recertification. FAA. Fund cyclical. FAA. Board of Selectmen regulatory and compliance mitigation and response. That's FAA recommendation. Town accountant unpaid bills. That's FAA's recommendation. Board of Selectmen high school feasibility study. That's FAA's recommendation. Agricultural Commission fundraising, that's FAA's move, um, recommendation, except a portion of Partridge Hill. <coughs> um, yeah, we can vote on that one. 11, 12, Mr. Administrator. 11, 12, um, 13. Uh, it's 16 through 19. As long as the board agrees, we're going to refer those back to the uh, refer back to planning board. Eleven is going to be referred back to. That's an FAA motion that we're going to refer it back to the commissioners. Twenty-one. Yeah, I'm sorry. Twenty-one. You're right. Twenty-one, and then twenty. Right. Twenty. Refer back to petitioner. The twenty-four. Recommend. Recommend approval. 
So 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 through 19 is referred back to planning board. 24 is <coughs> to recommend approval. 21 is to refer back it's FA is going to refer back to commission so 11 12 13 14 15 16 <coughs> 15, 19 is refer back to planning board 24 is recommended approval so you're going to vote on one two three four, six six items. okay Mr. Massey you want to do all at once Mr. Chairman or it's the board's pleasure I stole that line from you. <laughs> I think you did, I, which I stole from Sully. Do it all as one. All right. Um, Mr. Chairman, uh, these are approval. Can I break them up into the, into the ones we have? Yep. You're just recommending approval for the, for the board of select. Mr. Chairman, I recommend approval for articles 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 24 as printed. In the board. Second. Any discussion? <coughs> None. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Unanimous. Mr. Chairman? I, I move that we refer to the planning board articles 16, 17, 18, and 19. Second. A motion is second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Unanimous. And 21, they already did, right, Jay? The water sewer one? Yep. Do we have to make the same recommendation, or FAA already took care of that? FAA is going to take care of that. Okay. Mr. Chairman, thanks for everyone's patience so far. There's about yeah, one person left in the room. No, I'm kidding. Thank you for those holding out with us. Yeah. So the next item, Mr. Chairman, <clears throat> we're asking, there was a Scrivener's error. It was, a, it was an and instead of an or. Town councils thought it wouldn't be a big deal, but we're going to revoke the next, mo uh, next ballot question. So we might as well revote both of them to make it nice and clean. So last week we voted to have the uh, send it to a proposition to an apple right to the ballot. I was going to ask the board to do a new motion correcting the Scrivener's error for ballot question. <coughs> We're almost done. Okay, so this is the restatement of the vote of ballot question one, and this is the right one, Mr. Correct. All right. That's printed. That's printed. You want to read the whole thing? Yes, please. <clears throat> I move that the Board of Selectmen approve a proposition to an apple override ballot question for insertion on the June 12, 2023 town election ballot and to transmit same to the town clerk as of this date as follows. Shall the town of Dudley be allowed to assess an additional $2,668,797 in real estate and personal property taxes for the purposes of operational expenses for the town of Dudley in the amount of $1,674,514 and for the purposes of operational expenses for the Dudley Charlton Regional School District in the amount of $994,283 the fiscal year beginning July 1st, 2023? And further, that said question shall be deemed approved if a majority of the persons shall vote yes. Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Unanimous. The next one, Mr. Chairman, <clears throat> um, we previously approved. It had been checked by town council, voted, and sent to the ballot. Tom Clerk doesn't have to have it until tonight. Um, just before the last meeting, 
fine council weighed in and had a few more tweaks, so I'm hoping that we can revote uh, the second question, which is the capital outline. <coughs> I provided a motion for your use of restating the question. I want to. This is for question two. Yeah. <coughs> Move that the board of selectmen approve proposition two and a half capital outlay expenditure exclusion ballot question for insertion on the June 12, 2023 town election ballot and to transmit same to the town clerk as of this date as follows. Shall the town of Dudley be allowed to assess an additional $463,000 in real estate and personal property taxes for the purposes of funding the town's share of the costs of a high school feasibility study by the Dudley Charlton Regional School District as required under the Massachusetts School Building Authority School Building Grant Program and as recommended by the Dudley Charlton Regional School Committee for the fiscal year beginning July 11th, 2023. And further, that said question shall be deemed approved and the majority of the persons shall vote yes. Second. A motion is second. Any other discussion? Just one question, Mr. Chair. It says majority of persons vote yes, but it's a two thirds majority vote. Or is it two thirds by the board of selectmen? All right. It's two thirds to transmit any ballot questions. Right, and it's just a simple majority. <coughs> and I will make sure that it says, and further, that said question shall be deemed approved if a majority of the persons shall vote yes. Mm -hmm. Okay with Mr. Landry? Yes. Because I think we said in instead of if it's approved if the majority of the person shall vote yes. Okay? Right. Right. Yeah. Is that for discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Unanimous. Alright, that's it for that, right? <laughs> New business now? All right. Yes, please. New business. Uh, May 22nd, 2023. Uh, ATM warrant is voted by FAA and the Board of Selectmen required or any action there too. We're all set with that. We're all set. Okay. So that's the new business. On to appointments. Deb Johnson, appointment as Dudley's SCM Elder Bus representative. Term expired June 30th, 2024. Board's pleasure. So I'll move, Mr. Chairman. Do you have a second? Second. Thank you for yeah. stepping up. Thank you. Thank yeah. you, Deb. Any other Thank discussion? You. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Unanimous. Jennifer Fitzgerald, temporary reappointment as animal control officer, inspector of animals, term to expire July 1st, 2023. Mr. Chairman, we're asking for a temporary appointment that it will expire July 1st because that's one of the positions that if the override doesn't pass, will be cut July 1st. <laughs> motion. Mr. Massey. Go ahead. Make a motion. Mr. Solomon. Second. Mr. Chairman? Yes. Discussion. So if the override fails, we will not have an animal inspector? We'll be looking to find a different way to do it, Mr. Chairman, which, I mean, Mr. Sullivan, which is in process. <coughs> Maybe a pay as you go type situation in a neighboring town. It hasn't been determined yet. So the applicant would have to pay whatever the fee is for that person? Most, most potentially that would be what would happen. <coughs> Sorry, go ahead. For me? Sorry. No. All right, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Let's just uh, can you vote second? Yeah. Voted second. Right. Any other discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Unanimous. of Parcher Hill Road. Mr. Town Administrator. 
layout of Partridge Hill Road. So this has been sent back, Michelle, to, from the planning board to be sent, to be approved by the Board of Selectmen? Yeah. It should be in the one drive, Mr. Chairman. This is a public hearing. Remember, if you recall, we sent it back to the planning board to be laid out. Do you want me to open the hearing? <coughs> I think it just requires a vote. I don't think it requires a hearing. We already did the hearing. It's from meeting. Okay. For public input for, for the planner, town planner. For the planner. Public meeting. Alright, so the uh we'd be looking to get a vote to approve the layout of Partridge Hill. Motion in the one drive. The layout should be in the one drive, Mr. Chairman. So this also necessitates the board by bylaw has to go out and have we walk it, right? Not necessarily as a board, but everybody should make a effort to go out and check it out. I've been up there a couple times already. I've been up there in the week. Yeah, shit on this thing. A couple weeks ago when it was pouring, so sorry. I'm sorry. I would have put it first. Got done. Yeah. I haven't been there since. Mr. Chairman, we'll move this to the meeting before the town meeting. It won't take long. Okay. We'll have the document. Everyone before. okay with that? Yes. All right. Is there a, is this the simple vote, right? It's just a simple vote. But I want everybody to see the layout before you vote on it. Okay. We don't have the layout, Mr. Chairman. Uh, it's, it's really simple. I don't see it in Is it? Do we have it somewhere we can? Yeah, it's in program? my, I don't have access to my. We'll do it before, it's fine. We can do it before the time, you know. All right, we'll move this to the next meeting. Uh, old business, highway superintendent, update on Brandon Road Mill Race Bridge. Uh, so the only update I have uh, tomorrow, the uh, project manager from uh, Pasquazi construction, uh, uh, Pasquazi demolition, who'll be doing the uh, work is gonna come out and uh, survey the site mark out for uh, dig safe in preparation to start and uh, the uh, demolition should they're, they're going to give me a schedule but within a week or two they'll be beginning on the uh, demolition so uh, I'll have a further update at the next meeting want to do your department uh, communication same time uh, that's about all I have for for tonight all right thank Thanks. you Town administrators evaluation Awesome. Mr. Chairman, we're going to push this out again. We have there's a lot going on right now. We spoke with the town administrator earlier, and let's get. We do need to do this. You know, if end of the fiscal year is coming up, but let's get through the the rest of the business. So let's get that get the template sent out to everybody again, and we'll do that at the future meeting when we're all here. Good with you guys. Yep. The template, and I'll work on it. Yep. Ready to go. Yep. <coughs> Thank you. All right. Uh, Chief? I got nothing. Chief? Nothing. Jeff said nothing. Rich? Can't be the guy that gets up. Actually, it can, but not tonight, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. All right, George isn't here. That's everybody, right? Okay. Board uh, student rep, uh, she was here, I believe. <laughs> Why? It's only it's like midnight, right? It's a, no, it's only eight thirty. Uh, so let's go to uh, board member comments, Mr. Landry. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'd just like to thank everybody for showing up tonight. Uh, being patient, all the hard work that went into this, um, FAA, capital improvement, department heads, uh, residents, great job, uh, Mr. Chair for the board, uh, town administrator, amazing work. I'm very, very happy with the results, and uh, I hope we have a good week. Everybody can enjoy it. Thank you. Mr. Sullivan. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, that's the same. Mr. Landry, thank everybody 
have been participating in the budget process. It hasn't been easy, one of the more difficult ones since I've been involved. Um, covered a lot of ground tonight, there's a lot of information out there. Hopefully some of the things that Mr. Weaver touched on in regards to the PFAS, Lays some of the information that may be floating out there that may not be 100% accurate. Uh, again, your best avenue is to approach the town, come to me, get your answers. And uh, in light of Mother's Day coming up, I'd like to wish everyone in advance Happy Mother's Day. Those that are, those that may be someday, Happy Mother's Day. We all had a mother at one point. Mr. Signevich. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I just wanted to say thank you to Dudley Little League for inviting us to take part in their opening day ceremonies, the, the parade. The fields look great. Um, that, that's how things happen when people just show up and, and volunteer their time for the greater good. Good things happen. And uh, again, thank you to them for having us. Mr. Marcy. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, thanks to um, this. Capital Improvement Committee, the FAA, did a great job, you know, getting through a lot of the, you know, what seems like minutia, but it's things that we need to get through, so I appreciate everybody's patience. That's, um, you know, how the sausage gets made, so to speak, but it's, it's, it's critical that we do it the right way. Um, yes, Carrie, thank you for uh, mentioning the Little League. I, that was a great experience and a positive experience, right? It's not all... Um, negative things that you know get talked about. There's also a lot of positive things happening, and we're ready to call that out. Um, you know, Dudley Pride, right? We're all proud <coughs> of our town and the, and the things that, that happen. Um, I'll, and the last thing is, is one of the things I saw. I just think needs to be clarified. Um, I just want to ask the town administrator a question about um, this. There's some potential misinformation out there, but what happens if this override passes? What happens in year two with the funds, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Town Administrator? Can you explain to the people at home like how that really works? Year one, it's, it's legally required that those funds be um, used for the intent voted if the Prop, prop 2 and a half override would pass. In year two, I can't imagine that that either the town or, or department head or the school or the district would forget that they passed an override the year before and do anything more than request it either in the district assessment or or on the in the departmental budget. The good news is that on, on the municipal side, we've projected a budget out for five or six years, and we so I know what what the budget is going to be for the, the department heads for the next five or six years pending any you know unforeseen circumstances so we know where it's where the where the money is going to go on the municipal side and I'm pretty sure that the district is going to remember that they passed an override for their side and will continue to request that same amount plus two and a half percent or more every year yes did I answer the question no, that answers the question I just want you know I think the fact that you know we can go into the general fund and be spent for other purposes and Anybody up here can make motions to do such a thing. It's kind of kind of crazy in my in my book. So I just wanted to uh, make sure we talk about that. Well, we've shrunk in the override, Mr. Through the chair, Mr. Marcy, two hundred thousand dollars since we began this process. Two hundred thousand dollars on municipal side alone. We started at one point eight. We're at one point six now. There's no extra money uh, if, if it passes. It's not going to be hidden anywhere. It's all allocated and appropriated into future budgets. Right. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Sullivan. In the second half of that answer is you want to see how your town money is spent. You want to make sure it's spent right. You come to the town meeting and vote. That's the only way you can ensure that the budget that is proposed and potentially passed, the funds go where they're supposed to go. If you don't come, 65, 85 people show up. Get a 5,000 missing out on a good civics lesson. Just that I think that as long as I would, I I can't speak for you guys, but I think I can. You know, as long as I'm in the seat, I would never like support like moving money out of what the what the voters said that it was supposed to be used for. So, period. Right, it's credibility. It's credibility. 
<clears throat> thank you, and happy Mother's Day. Uh, thank you, everybody. Hopefully, the sound was better tonight. Uh, I think. Uh, yep. You, you look at those vol volunteers at the uh, the Little League field. Uh, it's not. Uh, it's definitely done uh, a little better than uh, when uh, maybe some of us were on the board a long time ago. Uh, but it looks great. Um, really nice job by all those volunteers and the veterans were there. Mr. Lanning and your veterans were there, so thank you. Uh, it, was, it was a great day, beautiful weather. That's all I have. I'll accept the motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. A motion, second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain? Unanimous. Thanks, everybody. Good night.